So you're curious about margin investing. What's going on guys? Welcome on into the TC Trading Channel. Today we're going to be covering margin investing on the Robinhood platform. There's a lot of questions surrounding margin and I want to hopefully clarify a bunch of that stuff and at least what you have access to on the Robinhood platform, which has been expanding and they've been actually trying to make it better, at least as of late from what I could see as someone who uh, has historically not really used Robinhood too, too much outside of more longer dated or longer term um, holdings. Um, that's just kind of my nature of how I do things. But if you want to get started with a margin account and you want to invest with margin, you're gonna need at least $2,000 to do so. So if you're someone who is trying to day trade, we have a video covering how you can actually day trade essentially an unlimited amount of times, depending upon how much money you're using per trade in an account under $25,000 on Robinhood. But you have to transition that account to a cash account if it's not one already. There's a video already here on the TC Trading Channel Robinhood playlist. Highly recommend you check that out if you're interested. But 2K, $2,000 is going to get you what you need to be able to utilize margin on Robinhood. I would recommend having more than $2,000 in there in case you blow up or you do something stupid and your account balance drops below. And then Robinhood's like, hey, we're going to take your margin investing powers away. So just be careful with that. Make sure you have at least a good amount. I would say a couple hundred bucks over that $2,000 threshold before we even start dabbling with margin. Robinhood's going to give you essentially what your portfolio value is in margin. So if you have $2,000 or let's say you have $10,000 in an account, they're going to give you $10,000 of margin to utilize. You could set caps to that, which we're going to do here in just one second, so that you can't utilize more than X number of dollars in margin. And that would be a good idea, especially with rising interest rates, which we'll cover how that plays in things here in just one second and why there's a feature in Robinhood that I would highly recommend you use, or you at least pay for, I know it's extra, but pay for if you're going to utilize margin because it's going to save you a lot more money. But here I am inside of like the back end of my Robinhood accounts and underneath the margin investing, I'm on the web platform, not an iPad, not a phone. So if I just go into Robin, log into Robinhood online on Chrome, you're going to get something that looks like this. So I have margin investing enabled. I'm under the margin investing tab. I have it enabled. This right here means I have Robinhood gold. That's like the Robinhood gold symbol right there. We'll cover that in a second. That's enabled margin spending you're actually able to utilize and withdraw margin that you have on Robinhood and pull that money out and withdraw it to your bank account. You can do that if you have the margin spending enabled. I do not have a borrowing limit. If I did, if I wanted to put one on there, I would go under here and I would set a borrowing limit for my account, okay? I don't feel the need to do that right now. I don't really care to do that, but if you know yourself and you don't want to be stupid and you don't want to go over X number of dollars in margin, not a bad idea. The way I'm using my Robin account right now, I'm actually heavily invested in margin and it's costing me some money, but I'm not super concerned with that, with the style of investing that I'm playing, selling covered calls in some dividend plays, and then having some exposure to some higher beta, higher volatility stocks as well. Um, and even some hedges in there, which is why I'm not super concerned with me using as of right now, a good amount of my margin, right? So my total account right now, I'm using a good chunk of margin. Now, as I scroll down here, when it comes to how much it's going to cost me right now, what's my yearly interest rate? My yearly interest rate is 6.5%. That might sound like a lot, or that might not sound like a lot. And let's say, for example, you have higher interest debt over here with a credit card or with something else, right? And I know that I technically have access to pulling out of my margin on Robinhood, pulling that cash out of my Robinhood account at a 6.5% yearly rate versus a 20 plus percent credit card if I had credit card debt. It actually could be useful to do this. Now, I'm getting a better deal on my yearly interest rate because if you are on margin but you don't have Robinhood gold, okay, you might not get the same deal. And that's where I think Robinhood Gold actually makes things a lot more worth it. So each month, it costs me five bucks. On top of that, I currently have $7 of unpaid interest. It's not a ton of money. I'm not worried. A couple cover, no, not even that, a covered call or two, and I make that money back on the unpaid, in, on the interest that I'm getting accrued every month. So I'm not super concerned with the margin or how much interest it's charging me 
because that rate is pretty low. And that's a yearly rate. That's not a monthly rate. That's a yearly rate. And that's pretty important to know. Going back up a bit to this margin maintenance, this is the minimum portfolio value that you're going to need to have in order to prevent being margin called and having potentially Robinhood liquidate your positions um, to fulfill that requirement, right? So make sure you're paying attention to this margin maintenance inside the margin investing tab right here. If you ever drop below that as your portfolio value, then just know you might have to trim some positions, sell some stuff, get off of some margin just so that you don't get called. You can also deposit money into the account too, if you would like to, if you have the ability to do so to prevent that margin call. Now let's talk about this interest and talk about the perks of Robinhood Gold. That's a kind of a big piece to the whole, I guess, utilizing margin. Now it's five bucks a month, but what does that actually get you? If you're someone who's brand new and you put 2,500 bucks in a portfolio, I don't think it's a humongous deal. But if you start to get more experienced, or let's say you start to have, you know, three, four, five, six K or more, right? As time goes on, if you're new or just getting started, or let's say you're coming over to Robinhood with a lot more, it probably is useful. So you're going to get 3.75% interest on your uninvested brokerage cash, okay, with gold versus a 1.5% without. That right there could pay for that five bucks a month off the bat, depending on how much money you have in the account. Instant deposits that you'll have access to when you deposit money into the account and you'll get access to those funds, they'll be larger with a gold account. You'll also get some more research information, level two market data, and here comes the good stuff and margin access at 6.5% for the yearly interest rate. It's actually 10.5% without Robinhood gold, believe it or not. You can also try it for free for 30 days. And I'm not trying to sell you on Robinhood Gold because I don't care. But at the end of the day, you're also going to get $1,000 of margin for free. You don't have to pay interest on that first $1,000 of margin that you used on Robinhood Gold. Another perk. So these are some of the big perks. And it's going to net save you a lot more money at the end of the day. Uh, I would think as if you're actually utilizing margin and using it, if you have gold and for five bucks a month, they pull it out of your account. They don't pull it out of your credit card. They pull it out of your account. I don't even realize it. I don't even have to worry about it. It's not even a concern. It just happens. And I have all these features and I have access to this stuff essentially without having to think about it. So hopefully that makes some sense. And there you guys have it. That's what you need to know when it comes down to Robinhood using margin, how much it's going to cost. And if you have any other questions, leave them down below in the video comment section. Like always, a ton of other great videos when it comes to Robinhood questions you may have already on our Robinhood playlist. I would highly recommend you check that out here on the TC Trading channel. If you like these types of videos, these videos are meant to be tutorials, great guides for you to help improve your own trading and investing, giving you the tools and the knowledge that you need to go out and make your own decisions. We make videos about twice per week here on this channel, not overloading you, but hopefully if you find it helpful, share it with a friend, consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up button. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.